Hi everyone, Gail from Woodsfold. How are you going? Um, hope you're doing well. And um, I'm super excited because this week I'm going to be doing my first ever giveaway on YouTube. And um, after I briefly talk about Woodsfold, I'll get into what you have to do to um, be in a chance to win some great prizes. Okay, so Woolswap is a yarn matching service that um, I open up every two months and you pay a small registration fee and then I match you up with other yarn lovers from either in your own country or worldwide and then what you do you um, connect with each other either by email or social media however you want to but um, email is probably best because then you can um, it's easier to get to know people a bit better on um, email. Well, that's what I find, but yeah, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then you exchange yarn parcels. Now, I actually do have a yarn parcel that I received a wool swap parcel myself because whenever I have an uneven number of um, wool swappers who join up each round, I um, step in and be a wool swapper myself. And because, you know, I'm an avid knitter and love yarn, so win-win. So um, anyway, exciting news. It's open tomorrow. Uh, well, it's um, Halloween here in Brisbane. I'm coming from, to you from Brisbane, Australia. It's the 31st of October, but uh, tomorrow. So the 1st of November. So um, yeah, just check the dates when you're watching this. But yeah, opens the 1st of November and registrations will be open until the 15th of um, November. And then if you sign up, at, um, normally I allow a week where I go through, because I personally actually read everyone's registration forms and I try and match you up as close as possible to um, a like-minded yarny like yourself. Um, so yeah, I allow myself a week to send out the registrations and then yeah, you're free to um, start chatting and then put a parcel together. So yes, so um, there'll be links below on where to go to head on over to my website and my description below to head to my website so that you can register so you don't miss out. And this is the last one for 2021. So if you've been wanting to try it, now's your chance. Okay, cool. So um, on today's, today's bit, I'm going to, like I said, do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to show you some happy mail that I've received recently and also um, uh, which includes a wool swap parcel which might give some of you people from the, the, any previous rounds or if you're wanting to join give you some idea of what you can um, pop, pop in your parcels and if I get a chance I'll show you what I've been mainly working on with my knitting projects. Okay, let's get into it. So um, if you've been following me on Woolswap on Instagram, um, you know that once a month I do a giveaway. And I will, I'm just reassessing how I do the giveaways, but um, I thought I would do my first one on YouTube. And I came across a vendor who I will be listing, because each round of Woolswap, um, some small vendors very kindly offer a discount to the wool swappers and it's solely for wool swappers so you'll only get the discount code when you register um and i do encourage you to take advantage because oh, i've come across some fabulous um indie dyers project bag makers stitch market makers um project keeper makers anything to kind of do with our industry and um most of them are small businesses like myself and yeah, I just love being able to help spread the word about them. So um, I came across a lovely lady called Marie from Ollie and May uh, Yarns, and she's actually based here in Brisbane, and she is going to be a vendor for the next round, so which is super exciting, but she also very kindly has donated a prize for a giveaway. First of one on here on YouTube. And so I'm going to show you what she has is providing. So first of all, she's providing this beautiful handmade quilted, I want to say quilted, bag. And as you can see, it's fairly large and it will fit, and I'll just pop some skeins in here, which I'm gonna show you, but one, two, three, four, five. I've got five skeins of yarn in there. Um, 
But I'd say, or maybe it's a medium size. Because if you're working on a jumper or a blanket. But yeah, it's a great size. And it looks like if you, ah, oh, look at that. Pull it up and you pull them together. And it's a cute drawstring bag. That's fabulous. So now you definitely fit the um, five skeins of yarn in there. So there's this bag that she has beautifully handmade. And she did um, ask me to mention too that um, from tomorrow or early next week, she will be pop popping into, she has an Etsy store, which I'll put her details below so you can go and check her out. Um, she's an Etsy store where she will be popping in um, Christmas bags. So I think she said from the middle of November through, and then she'll, she'll put one lot and then um, an update with Christmas bags and then at the end of November. So if you really want some Christmas bags, but it's really well made, it's beautiful. It's so soft. And with, to go with that, she's very kindly, because she does dye yarn as well, is um, providing, giving this away. Now this is Oak Hand Dyed Yarns, Ollie and May Yarns, Queensland, Australia, so she's actually from Brisbane. And this is Pumpkin Spice, Soft Sock, Full Ply, 75% Merino, 25% Nylon, 100 grams. Okay, cool. So, it's like a tonal, and it's called Pumpkin Spice. Yay, so this is kind of like the time of the year for all my um, friends over in the Northern Hemisphere, because it's a bit cooler, it's your fall. So this will be beautiful. So yeah, so um, instructions on what to do for the giveaway will be below as well, but what you, what you have to do is, um, you have to uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment in the video. And, um, and then there is a link, which I'll put down where you have to go, it will take you over to my website and I just, you just need to enter your email address because that way I can, once um, I've drawn a, a winner at random, it'll be open for a week. So on the 7th of November, I will shut this down and then I will randomly draw from the people that who have entered um, correctly. So there's four steps that you'll have to do. So just um, pay attention when you have a look at the details below. And yeah, winner drawn it went random. So I need your email address so I can contact you to um, so that you can uh, let me know where to send this gorgeous prize. Uh, it's open worldwide. So don't worry about that. I will post to anywhere in the world where I can, depending on, obviously there's no restrictions with our post at the moment, but Australia Post seems to be sending everywhere. So we're all good. So yeah, so uh, yeah, four simple things you gotta do. Just follow the prompts in the description below and you'll be entered. So hopefully uh, we'll get a good amount of number of people and yeah, you can, this will be yours. Okay, I'll put that to one side. Okay, so happy mail. So I, again, like I said, I, I, I stumble across all these small vendors all the time and I stumbled across a New Zealand dyer that I haven't come across before and it is Yarn Obsessions. And I was like, zip, because it's got a Z on the end. And these are, she comes from New Zealand. And so what I did was, I went onto her store and I found this beautiful, look at this. I'll put her, she's got a website, I'll put her details below as well. And I just love the bright colors mixed in with the gray. I'm swooning over gray at the moment, I don't know why. Um, so this is full ply merino super wash, 100 grams. And the colorway is Bowie or Bowie. Bowie, I'd say Bowie. And so I got, she had three left, so I got three. And as you can see, they're all kind of a little bit different. This one looks like it's got more blue. And this one looks like it's got more kind of ready pinky color. So I got those three. And then I thought, this would make a great jumper, right? But three's not enough. So I, she had two gray ones. 
So I got two gray and this is the same four ply merino superwash and this is moody gray. So these are gonna look perfect together, I reckon. So what I might do is when I, um, comment below if you do this, but I'm pretty certain most people that um, knit with indie dyed yarns, they, um, they always suggest that you knit every second row. Well, I do every second row. You could do every first row, but every second row swap skeins. So what I might do with my jumper is just knit these two plain in the thing and carry on till I've got to the end. So yeah, so stay tuned. You'll eventually see this on the needles. But yes, uh, very impressed. Yarn Obsessions and Zenda. So again, I will put this, um, I'll put the, her details below so you can go check her out. I love coming across new dyes. It's just crazy. But I've kind of been thinking lately, I do have way too much yarn in my stash. But hasn't really changed, has it? Won't stop me. So the other thing I want to show you is um, Woolsop parcel that I got recently got. So I got this from the lovely Tanya down in um, I swap with in Australia this round because um, I had an uneven number of Australians and I thought, oh, that's easy. So she sent me this gorgeous card. I just wanted to show you this. These cards are actually from Lana, sorry, Lana Bullshop.com and she's also got an Etsy, Etsy shop. And I went and had a look and they're all knitting related cards. So I was like, oh my goodness, I want to buy some. But unfortunately she's in the UK and the postage is horrendous just to send a couple of cards. So yeah. But anyone who's watching me from the UK, go check out this site because, and I'll put her details below, um, fabulous, there's a whole bunch of knitting cards. And uh, yeah, and so I got a, and she's written a little note on the back. She just says, dear gal, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. I hope you enjoy the items I've put together for you. Thank you for organizing Wolf Spot. It's just an amazing community. Best wishes, Tanya. So thank you very much, Tanya, lovely. So let's see what you got. So um, on with Wool Swap, you can, uh, there's a couple of options you can choose or you can just tick. Um, you can do the minimalist one or just a regular swap. So the minimalist one is really if you just want to exchange 100 grams of skein, um, 100 grams of yarn, sorry, and then maybe just a couple of little extra things because a lot of you, I, I show all the po um, people's parcels on Wool Swap on Instagram and some of them are horrendous, like some do six skeins, some do four, some do five. So it's just depending within your own budget. And, and this is where the big part about communication with your wool swapper is very important. So if you, I always um, contact my wool swapper and say, look, I'm going to send X amount of skeins. Are you okay with that? And nine times out of 10, they are. And then that way you both send the same amount because that way when you get your wool swap parcel, you're not disappointed there. Ah. Oh. Well, I sent her four, but I only got two back or vice versa. So that's my, my number one tip this week is make sure you communicate. And if you want to send four skeins, tell them. Just say, hey, I'm going to send four skeins of yarn. Are you up for that? And nine times out of 10, they will be. And if they're not, you know, you just work it out between each other and where you go. So anyway, we decided on this one just to do a minimalist one. And um, which was just a hundred grams of yarn. Um, I was a little bit naughty though. I did pop in one extra skein for her because uh, it was Tanya's first wool swap, and um, I just thought that she would she would like this extra one that I put in, um, and she did, <laughs> which is great. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is my little this is my parcel. So it came in this little bag, which was in a box, but um, and this is beautiful and I have forgotten to ask her if she made it, but it is lovely. It's just such beautiful material. Little drawstring bag, perfect for socks. And let's see what's in here. Lots of little goodies. Okay. So I got these. These things and they are pretty sick. Oh, 
When I first saw them, I thought, oh, they look like lollipops. But they are needle stoppers. So I'll just put one on a needle. Yeah, how cute are that? How cute are they? Fantastic, and they are from Rainbow and Sprinkles. And they've got a website and they're on Instagram. So that was pretty cool. I don't have anything like this, so thank you. It was like getting new stuff. And what else? Just lucky dip. Lucky dip. Just pulling it out. Oh. Okay. Oh, some tea. I did open this before, obviously. So I love green tea. I have a green tea every morning. First thing when I get up. I don't know, just, if I don't have it, I just feel crap out for the whole day. So, so this is green tea from, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Queen Victoria green tea. So I've never tried that before. So I will be doing that. And then uh, she's given me a few, a couple of other loose, Tubes here, green rose, T2, wakey wakey, gorgeous geisha, and I've had that one before, it's amazing, and ginger nut chai, that would be interesting. I'm assuming it tastes like ginger nut, I love ginger nuts, oh my god, reminds me when I was a kid, my mum we used to have them and dunk them in your tea. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we got a scan. I got a scan of yarn. She nailed it. These colours are perfect for me. So this is from Flock and Needle, which is an Australian dyer out of New South Wales. But I do think, I believe she goes by another name, and I'll put the other name down in the um, description below. Faith Outlander is the colourway. And it's figuring weight, four ply, merino, nylon, 100 grams, superwash. Beaut pair of socks. Or a beanie. How double make a beanie? I reckon. So love, love, love. So yes, very small. Oh, and one more thing. And I put a thing in here. She made this. She handmade this. I love when people are making the handmade stuff gorgeous um actually my last this is my last my last three wool swap passes i've had something here made. so it's a little hold your hold your so i've just stuck a skein that i had a ball in there and yeah just knit away out of that perfect and i love this color oh my goodness i reckon a jumper out of that would be amazing I should ask her what color it is Yes, well done. Thank you, Tanya. So clever. What a great idea, right? So if you're looking for ideas for Wilson, um, this is perfect. And if you can knit, obviously, and so obviously she followed a pattern, but, or maybe she just made it up. But anyway, it's perfect. So yeah, so very spoiled. So as you can see, even by doing the minimal, minimalist swap, you can still get some good stuff. So. I reckon, give it a go. I have a few people that want to do the minimalist, but um, yeah, it's entirely up to you. I do love these cards, aren't they cute? All right, so I think I've got time to show you a couple of things I'm working on. First of all, I have half a finished thing. So this is my How You Roll socks. And this time I thought, I've knit this sock millions of times, just plain, but this has got like three colors to it. So you actually change the color and it's following a chart. And I'm not the best at following charts. I prefer to do the written patterns, to follow the written pattern. Uh, actually, if you want to comment below um, whether you love following a chart or you prefer to do the written it written out um, 
But anyway, this took me forever because I kept getting, every time I stopped, I kept having to go back and check where I was up to and losing my place. So, but anyway, I finished it uh, yesterday and I have cast on as mate. And what I'm doing, I'm up to the heel, is it's great because I can just follow along with the stripes now, so I won't need to even follow the pattern. So yes, so just some little shorty socks. Go for my sneakers. So yes, so that's that. And the other thing I've been mainly working on is um, this adventurous wrap. So I've done one part of it. So you may have seen pictures of this. So this is the first section and it's kind of all blues and some kind of pinky, purpley colors. And then I've gone, because this is for a friend and she wanted, um, I asked her what color she liked and she said blue, purple, and red. And I thought, oh, I'll just combine them all in a shawl somehow. So this is what I've come up with. So here's, where is the rest of it? Oh, here's the second section, sorry. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, look at me, I'm halfway through. I'm halfway through a row, goodness. So I'll just pop this, these u -Butte needles. So this is the next, the second sec section. So it's more purpley based because I was struggling to, I thought, do I have many purple? I know I got lots of blue. Well, I actually had more blue than what I thought. And then I thought, well, do I have much purple? Mm. Yep. So I'm just using little minis that I have lying around because if you know me, I'm an advent calendar, um, addicted to advent calendars and I have quite a few minis from that. And speaking of which, advent calendars, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've, I've ordered four this year. One is coming from Australia and I'm sure she'll be posting it soon. Um, I've got two coming from the UK and I've got um, postage notifications that they are on their way. So yay. And I've got one coming from um, the USA and at the moment the USA is not posting to um, Australia and New Zealand. Um, for some reason they've suspended um, normal posts. But anyway, very kindly this lovely um, Marina from uh, Pineapple Yarns, it is. And she contacted me and said she can um, send it by courier. So um, I've agreed to that, just to pay a little bit extra for the postage. And yeah, she's hopefully, um, I'm yet to hear back from her, but hopefully I will tomorrow and then yeah, she'll be able to post it. So yay, I might get all four by Christmas. If not, doesn't matter. I'll, you know, have something in the new year to, to open. But yeah, so this is the, and I like this pattern because it's it's just it's just net. It's just stocking stock and net. It's just net. Just net net net. Everybody's net. And it's just you can do it watching TV, watching Netflix, you can do it while someone's talking to you. You know, you don't have to pay too much attention, so it's great. So hopefully, uh, next time I'm on I might be able to um, show you a bit more of that and yeah i reckon that that's it for this week so um don't forget please enter the giveaway so you have a chance to win these great prizes from ollie and may and um yeah tell your friends tell everyone and then also don't forget we'll swap you've got from tomorrow for two weeks uh, your last chance to enter for 2021 so love to see you on board as a wool swapper and um yeah, so anyway, have a good week, everyone. Uh, stay safe and well, and I will catch you next time. So the winner, I will, I will um, obviously, I will draw the winner in a week's time, and I will notify them via email of the of the giveaway, winner of the giveaway. But I will announce that winner um, also on my channel next time I'm on, if it's uh, which will probably be next week. And um, yeah, so all right. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.